Hi friends, my name is Abby and today we're going to be looking at some very creepy videos. Apparently these are the creepiest videos trending right now. So we're going to get straight into it and if we don't get creeped out then don't blame me, blame the video. This one, not this one. Alright, thanks. There's a cat. This first clip was posted by Ooh. TikTok user It's Baby Ibby on January 21st, 2023. In the video, Ibby is resting in bed filming her cats as they explore the room. Okay, okay, I see. At first glance, it seems like a simple, endearing moment. However, the scene quickly takes an eerie and bizarre turn. What could possibly happen? Two cats, one room. Let's go. Um, excuse me? It like if went you look into carefully, the floor. You'll see what appears to be a third cat oddly materializing Wait. and then disappearing into the floor. Here it what? is, slowed down. No, it looks like the cat goes behind the curtain and then comes back in the floor. Do you see what I mean? No way. Viewers were understandably puzzled by no this bizarre way. footage. Ibi, the video's creator, says that her mum had two previous cats who sadly passed away in the house many years ago. Damn, rest in peace, bro. prompted some viewers to think that this might be the spirit of one of those cats. Dude, that's actually nuts. Oh. A recent TikTok video posted by Jem Calabresi has sent social media into a frenzy. In the video, Jem captures bizarre and unsettling activity on her rooftop in broad daylight. What the hell? For months, Jem what has is... sensed something hiding in her ceiling, leaving her with an uneasy feeling. Well, it's probably just an animal, isn't it? Driven by her suspicions one afternoon, she decided to record the rooftop with her cell phone. I love how she's she just catch... like hiding between the door, like, don't see me, but I'm recording you. It's nothing short of eerie. Oh my god. What is that? That looks like a freaking dinosaur claw or something. Oh my gosh. What the f- It looks like a giant's up there and it's- Out of nowhere, a creepy hand emerges from the roof. No. Uh-uh. Oh that is nuts. The video quickly went viral, sparking a flurry of speculation and wild theories. Oh. Many TikTok users suggested oh, what it was is the that? creature from Jeepers Creepers living in the roof. <laughs> What? While others speculated about aliens and cryptids. Oh, no. At that point, I would like call animal services and be like, there's this fucking thing in the roof. Here's the footage. Let's get it out. Because like, I could not live there knowing that that thing is been chilling in the roof. No. However, it was later revealed that the unsettling footage had a logical explanation. Oh, is it a actually family raccoons? of raccoons had taken residence in Jem's roof. Was it like four arms that looked like just a massive hand? Is that what happened? Oh, dude, now that's actually creepy though. That definitely gave me the creeps. While Didn't the like initial that. footage appeared deeply unsettling, it turns out there was a perfectly natural reason behind the eerie encounter. I need an explanation. This revelation has provided relief to Gem and her viewers, who can now rest easy knowing there's no supernatural entities <laughs> lurking in the roof. Jesus. Ugh. For one little what? girl, a midnight trip to the fridge turned into a nightmare. Captured by a home security camera, the footage shows the young girl opening the fridge and reaching for a drink. You notice how they have a camera out pointing down the kitchen near the fridge? They're doing this to like be like, you, you're, you're getting midnight snacks and we're going to get the footage and show you. <laughs> you're in trouble, bro. Why, yeah, why else would you have a security camera in your kitchen? Anyway, I find that kind of funny. But watch what happens. So she's getting a drink. She's doing the T-Rex pose, bro. Do you see that? She's like, <laughs> bro, that's so funny. <laughs> Excuse me, she just get pushed over. Out of nowhere, oh, an unseen force pulls her to my the ground. Goodness, that's insane. She gets like yanked. Although it has unknown origins, this chilling video is bound to make you think twice about leaving your room for a late night snack. Yeah, I never do that anyway, so I'm fine. L to everyone. Does that? Ugh. Where are we at? A recent TikTok video like posted by a user named Eddie, who goes by the handle Break and Pop, has left the internet buzzing. 
In the clear, Betty captures a puzzling scene at a nearby pizza place. Right. Okay, where is this car that's reflecting on this Boston pizza window? Wait. It's a Corvette C8. I seriously... Wait, see that car how anyway. does that work? An orange sports car is clearly... Ref Wait, so we've got this car here, we've got another car. You'd think this would be reflecting off that, right? What? Reflected in the restaurant's window. What? Yet the car itself is nowhere to be seen. That is... Because there's an yeah, orange car that? over here, but it's a it's a ute, truck, whatever you want to call it. Uh, what the where is this car? fudge? Eddie's confusion is palpable as he tries to make sense of the situation. <laughs> Imagine seeing that. Wait, would it not be along this path maybe? But the reflection doesn't make sense because you've got those other two cars parked right there and they're not reflecting off it. Where's that car? Where's this car? I feel like it's in front of him, down where he's sitting. That's By my guess. By all logical accounts, the car should be present, given its reflection is visible in the window. Mm. However, after zooming out to show the entire expansive parking lot, it becomes evident the vehicle is missing. Well, notice how there's like bushes and stuff and it's quite zoomed in. It must be some sort of like glass reflection that somehow just does that. I feel like that car's like way over here somehow, but it still just doesn't make sense. Anyway, what do you guys think? Because I don't know. I really don't. Where if that happened car? to me, I would freak out. <laughs> Hello, where's that car? Ooh, we're on a plane. A bizarre video has recently surfaced over on X, posted by a user known as Aeroporto D. Okay. While casually strolling through Ooh. his city streets, he encounters something- I love planes. I don't know, I just had to pause the video and say that. Like, I love plane spotting and stuff. This is cr this is fun for me. I enjoy this. This is very cool. Anyway. Incredibly odd in the sky. Oh! My okay, no, no. So when you drive and the plane's going that way, wouldn't that make it go faster? Not just stay still? Because you know how things move and then you're moving and then it looks like it's not moving? That should be the opposite if they're... What? A plane seems to be frozen mid-flight, hanging motionless in the air. Wait, what? No, that's actually crazy because it hasn't moved from the, the building. Has Adding it? to the mystery, there's no sound emanating from the aircraft. And it's way too close to that building, right? Like, but how close is that airport? The footage has sparked a wave of intrigue and speculation, leaving viewers puzzled and curious about this bizarre phenomenon. That's nuts. Some viewers said it might be a case of parallaxing. Parallaxing, or parallax, is a displacement or difference in the apparent position of an object viewed along two different lines of sight. Yeah. It occurs due to the change in the observer's position, creating a shift in the perspective of the object being viewed. In this case, it might make the plane appear as though it's not moving at all. But it doesn't make sense, right? Like, it just doesn't. So is it just an optical illusion, a glitch in reality, or something else entirely? Well, if it's if it's that close to the airport, because it's quite low to the ground, it would be moving a lot quicker than that. Because I... I've gone plane spotting, guys. Like, a plane goes by over you quite quickly. Like, you just stand there and it's gone. Like, within two seconds, but... The mystery of the motionless plane remains unresolved, oh. prompting many to seek answers and share their theories in the comments. That's definitely strange. That is creepy. Don't like that. No thanks. Oh, um, no. <laughs> Mark. Zuckerberg, the man himself. What's going to happen here? Mark Zuckerberg, the creator of Facebook, has often been the subject of internet speculation and conspiracy theories. Among oh, the no. most bizarre is the claim he might be a reptilian shapeshifter, a theory popularised by conspiracy theorist David Icke. Reptilians, also oh, known as dude. reptoids, archons or lizard people, are supposed reptilian humanoids featured prominently in fantasy, oh. science fiction, ufology and conspiracy theories. Okay. David Icke, an anti-Semitic conspiracy theorist, popularised the idea that shape-shifting reptilian aliens control Earth by taking on human form and gaining political power. Mm. Icke claims that many world leaders are either reptilians or the queen. By the queen's a reptilian? She's dead anyway, it's fine. <laughs> These theories draw from earlier fictional and pseudo-historical sources. Michael Bakun, a political science professor, traces the concept to Robert E. Howard's 1929 story, The Shadow oh. Kingdom. 
which depicted serpent men infiltrating humanity. Oh. Later, occultist Maurice Dorial expanded on these ideas which influenced Ike's own theories. Alien abduction narratives mm. sometimes feature reptilian creatures. Did One actually? early report came from police officer Herbert Shermer, who claimed under hypnosis that he was taken aboard a UFO by beings with a reptilian appearance. Wait, under hypnosis? I don't know much about this man, I don't know who he is, but I'm assuming he had like a, a UFO or alien sighting and they're like, nah, this guy's tripping. Put him under hypnosis so he would speak the truth? And then that's what he said? Maybe? Skeptics, however, consider such claims to be hoaxes. Oh, well, that's Many weird. Many internet users oh, have noted Zuckerberg's mm, that's peculiar scary. behavior and appearance, fueling theories that he might be a reptilian. In one YouTube video, Zuckerberg, during a presentation, mistakenly says something quite odd indeed. Oh, but no. it is going to bother you because you're human, and and I was human. I am human still. Um, <laughs> but um, but it, but I was just referring to myself in the past. Um. Oh. Not that I was not human. This slip, along with his sometimes awkward demeanour, has led to further speculation. Here, he seems to try drinking water for the very first time. <laughs> you mean the very first time? That's crazy. In the numbers that we have here today. If you're over your time, Chairman Thune and I will make sure to let you... Several viral photos... What is this? Bro's got the fucking arch back of a... God damn! <laughs> Add to the intrigue, oh, one shows Zuckerberg sitting in an uncomfortable looking position. That's no way. Oh, it's hard to tell if it would be photoshopped because if it was, it's very easy to replace this area and just like warp him in like that. So it's, we can't tell if it's fake or not. Another image of him surfing with an excessive amount of sunblock on his face led some to question his <laughs> human authenticity. Zuckerberg Dude. explained he wore extra sunblock to disguise himself from photographers. Adding, That's fucking nuts. Bro's turning into a clown. An extra layer of strangeness to his public image. A picture of him and his team also went viral with many people thinking that Zuckerberg and the team... Oh, do you see this girl right here? Do you see that? Oh my, okay. Team all look a little uncanny valley or not quite right. Oh, oh, yeah, that's not okay. That's, that's, what? Conspiracy what? theories often attract attention due to their sensational nature. The idea of reptilian overlords controlling humanity taps into deep-seated fears and imaginations, mm. providing a captivating narrative that blends elements of science fiction and ancient mythology. These theories exploit our natural curiosity and skepticism about those in power, offering a seemingly plausible explanation for complex global events and societal structures. So what do you think? Oh. Is there any substance to these theories? Or are they just another example of internet fueled speculation? I'd love to hear your thoughts on Lizardman Zuck in the comments down below. I don't know how you can mistakenly say, I was human, and then fix up, you are human. What does that mean? What do you mean you were human? Oh. Dude, that's... He's definitely very strange. And it's not even like a conspiracy. It's like he is a bit strange. Um, oh, no. I feel like he's going to come after me. His lizard people are going to come after me. But I don't know about the whole lizard theory. Obviously, it does go back in, like, books and stuff. Something is up, and I'm not a fan, and I'm terrified. Mark, are the allegations true that you're secretly a lizard? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go with no on that. Uh, I, I, am, I am not a lizard. Um... The way he speaks, he speaks like he's an email. He's like writing an email, and but it's coming out of his mouth. Do you get what I'm saying? Like he, he's very prompt about his way of talking. It's like his technology himself. I don't know, man. Ooh. A deserted private island off the coast of Naples, Italy, remains shrouded in eerie tales and local superstitions. That looks cool, the actually. The island of Gaiola, a pair of rocky outcrops connected by a bridge, stands within swimming distance from the mainland, Ooh. yet few dare to venture near it. I was going to say, I don't know how much about, was it Naples? Nepal? I have no idea what he said. I'm so sorry. But it's not tagged up usually with abandoned places like constantly getting spray painted on all the time but if it's in one of those countries where like you will get in massive trouble for it yeah i guess it makes sense why it's not tagged up but i don't know who would swim across there with a uh, spray paint cans anyway anyway a crumbling villa and narrow streets mark the landscape of this small island which is said to be cursed 
Dude, it is actually quite close. You could definitely just come down here and swim across, but then the sea might take you out. Ah, oh, mate, that's too risky. The island's reputation for misfortune is steeped in a series of tragic events. There's like a thing here so you can't get in. There's a sign. Oh, there's people kayaking. Okay, people have, <laughs> people are out there. Sorry, I'm Over getting confused. Over the years, residents and owners have faced an unsettling array of calamities. From murders and oh, drownings. Wait. Hang on, there is graffiti here. Fuck me, I just, sorry. I'll go back. Let's, let's listen. Reputation for misfortune is steeped in a series of tragic events. Over the years, residents and owners have faced an unsettling array of calamities. From murders and drownings to mysterious disappearances. Oh. Legend has it that the esteemed Roman poet Virgil once taught his students on Gaola, adding a touch of ancient mystique to its already haunting history. Okay. The 19th century saw the island inhabited by a hermit known as Il Maggio, the wizard. Ooh. Living off the charity of passing sailors, Il Maggio one day vanished without a trace, leaving behind an air of mystery. Subsequent owners of the island didn't fare well either. Luigi De Negri, a wealthy Luigi. businessman who... Yeah. I don't know, that's not what he sounds like, but... ...built the existing villa, faced financial ruin shortly after acquiring Gaola. In 1911, Captain Gaspari 1911? Albega, this is how far back we're going? Oh. ...meant a grim fate while navigating the treacherous waters around the island. His shipwreck and body were never found. Ooh. The 1920s brought further tragedy when Swiss businessman Hans Braun was found murdered, his body wrapped in a rug. His wife later drowned at sea. What German the perfume fuck? dealer Otto Grunbach followed as owner and died of a heart attack. Another unfortunate owner, Swiss pharmaceutical industrialist Maurice Yves Sandoz, succumbed to madness and ultimately took his own life. How many people are going to die? The kill counts up to like a kill streak of 10 or 15. Among the island's most oh, notable owners are Gianni dude. Agnelli, the head of Fiat and Italy's richest man at the time. Agnelli's son later died in apparent suicide. Billionaire Jean-Paul Getty also owned Gaiola with his family plagued by tragedy. His son died by suicide before the island purchase and his grandson was kidnapped in 1973. What is going on with this place? Oh my god. It's like if you have anything to do with this island, you're fucked. You are fucked. The <sighs> island's last private owner, insurance magnate Gian Pasquale Grapponi, ended up imprisoned over unpaid debts. Now I mean, the island of Gaiola is owned. That's better than our death, but. By the Campania region's government, incorporated into the Gaiola underwater park, and is designated as a marine protected area. Despite its scenic beauty and historical intrigue, the island remains a place of foreboding. Its whispered curse, a powerful deterrent to would-be visitors. Ugh. Well, that's the end of that video. But I'm um, touching on the last story. Oh my god. How does how does one curse an island like that that bad? How does that happen? And every man and their dog in association with it died. They carked it. See you later. Um, which is nuts. So but yeah, this video definitely creeped me out. This was a good video. If you guys uh also thought it was creepy, leave a like please. That way it'll tell me like, you know, it was good. Otherwise leave a comment as well. But um yeah, that's the end. Uh thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. Obviously again leave a like. Make sure to subscribe to me. I'll be posting twice a week just content like this, reacting to scary stuff, creepy stuff, whatever. Um because it's my vibe. So honestly the scariest video out of this whole reaction thing. I think maybe the Mark Zuckerberg one. For sure. I don't like the whole lizard conspiracy. I don't want to like go too deep into it because I will freak myself out about it, but it was definitely crazy. So let me know your thoughts about whatever in this video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Um, and make sure to follow my social medias down below so you can keep updated with whatever if you care. Anyway, that's it from me. Love you guys so much and bye.